for some girl chat, but I'm gonna start yes. it off with Jeannie Mai on Dancing with the Stars last night. You killed it one more time, girl. Yes. It was 80s night. You were channeling Madonna. First of all, you look good as an old woman. You look good in your tango. <laughs> and then last night, 80s pop star. I mean, girl, you were on fire. You were, the energy was great. Uh, you yeah. danced incredibly. Yeah. I was a little nervous with that whole um, bathtub thing going on, but you <laughs> nailed it. And what I thought was really cool was Carrie Ann and Abba, who can be very critical, she said that you were the most interesting dancer to watch. How do you feel about Facts. that? The most exciting Facts. for sure. Thank you. And, and I, first, I have to thank my family right here. You ladies, thank you for supporting me. Garcelle, your text last of night. Of course. Tears. Like it, honestly, thank you so much for the love. And, and Israel, you always got to send that to Israel too, Adrian, because he holds me <laughs> down too, my brother. Um, You're so awesome. I'm just so glad that finally, when you see so much of your hard work go in the rehearsals, that it delivers. Right on the dance floor, you know, cause sometimes you can nail it you all day in practice, but when you go live and you've got the anxiety and the lights and the judges eyeballs on you, you miss one move like I did in the tango and you just are like, all that work for nothing, you couldn't even get it right then. So I was just happy that I actually nailed the moves and that those lifts, I give so much credit oh to Oh my Brandon. God, He's I was so scared strong. and all the spins. Guys, look at this. But what I wanted to know about that Jeannie, my question for you, how do you maintain your focus? Do, do you get dizzy? What is that like? Yeah. Okay, so the only way, and dancers will know this, I'm giving you 101, but the only way you can maintain your focus is you have to spot something in the room and just That's stay right. on it. So I for me, spot. if it were looking straight at the camera, stay at the camera, turn around, stay at the camera, turn around, stay at the camera. And the other thing to stay still on Brandon is to clench your butt. Guys, my butt is so sore right now because that whole move to be like a board, you're like... <laughs> is that... Yeah, uh, okay, I'm not even going to go there. Yeah, so wow. I, got, awesome. I got the butt muscles for the month, guys. I held it so hard, and that's how he held me stiff. And so thank you for everybody. You guys, real fam, seriously, I know y'all vote. Thank you for every vote. You guys send me DMs of your voting. Thank you for the text messages, everything. I love you guys for voting. I really, really I love you. Well, you're killing you it. You're killing it. I love getting charged you, so those You came up with the bathtub. Jeannie, I know you came yeah, up with I, the bathtub. You know bathtub. what? That's our, that's, our, that's our creative director that came up with this. So oh. next week will be fun, you guys. Next week is a very emotional dance. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Thank oh. you for keeping me on Dancing with the Stars. Um, Good job. You know, another thing. Thank you, awesome. ladies. Thank you. Another thing when it comes to just um, emotion out there is something that has been happening when it comes to voting for people out there. We all know the emphasis on voting. If you haven't heard us every day hammering in to register and get ready to vote, let me tell you what happened to the registered voters of Georgia. Yeah. So the early voting in Georgia turned out in record numbers. Congratulations to everybody who got the memo to prepare themselves to vote, but they were met with record long lines. So many voters grew tired and hungry in these long lines as the day dragged on, but they still continued to wait like Georgia voter Viola yeah. Hardy, who got in line at 6 a.m., guys, and was still waiting five hours later. Take a look at this. People passionate about no, voting. I think people are just really ready to vote, and it doesn't matter how long it takes, we will stand in line to vote. Mm. So I think that's the most important part. We're voting like our life depends on it. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Our lives do depend yes. on it. <laughs> I love that's right. Her. And Jamel Hill Gets tweeted it. this about Viola. Of course this woman deserves to be commended. But we have to call this what it is. This is the result of Republicans' nonstop efforts to suppress black voters. If Biden wins Georgia, it will be because of a superhuman effort by people like her. Voting shouldn't be partisan. So ladies, yes. no, what it do should you think not be partisan. It people? should be everybody's right. And listen, they had it's every four years we know this is happening. Why aren't they prepared? There's technical difficulties. Obviously, the lines are long. Um, I really feel like they need to do better. But what's exciting is that the fact that people are being patient, people are staying there and, you know, waiting to vote regardless of the suppression, suppression that they're trying to set in. We're still not falling for it. We're going to vote regardless. 
That's well, exciting. people need to be careful, too, because there are reports that the California Republican Party is putting up fake ballot drop boxes because it's early voting. Um, on the yep. website, the Fresno County Republican Party shared a list of secure ballots that are supposed to be official county ballots, but they're not. Now, when they were, um, the, the California Republican Party did not respond to the request, but they said, they defended the practice by saying on Twitter that it was made legal under a 2016 law that allows California voters to designate a person to return their ballot for them. So they made these ballots. Mm -hmm. People are putting it thinking that it's official, but it's not official, it's you not. guys. So don't fall for it. Go to an official drop box and for the locations, go to the Secretary of State. And this may be happening not only in California, but it could be happening in other states. Go to, yep. if you want to know where to go, go to um, ocvote.com. That's if you're in California, but also go to your Secretary of State's um, website to find official drop boxes because this is not cool at all. So it's they're really cool. trying to suppress and the thing our is, votes. Do you really want to win? Do you really want to win by cheating? I mean, it, it, you know what I mean? It's yeah, so they do. to me. They do. I mean, you're talking about care. integrity, Garcelle. That's a whole nother topic we got to have for another right. day. But right. when it comes and to even in these... Texas, you guys, one, one more thing. In Texas, this was breaking last night. The Fifth Circuit Court upheld Governor Abbott's order that limits one mail-in ballot drop-off box per location. One. That's what they're trying to do to suppress wow. your vote. So like Garcelle yeah. said, stand in line. If it, you know, it That's should right. not take 12 hours for us to stand in line. We have to no. fix these things for the next election. But yeah. also remember that, um, also remember that you're voting the down ballot. The down ballot is what's going to help you to stop the suppression. So remember, you may stay in line for this election, but these next elections, we got to fix it. And that's what Stacey Abrams came on here to talk I about. I agree. You know, it's I agree, and I want to say this. Issues. I want to say this. Bring water. Bring a snack. Have sanitizer um, gels with you. Like, if you can bring a portable chair, do that. Whatever you need to do to make yourself comfortable so you stand, stay in line and you can vote. That's great advice, Carcel. Absolutely. Wow. Well, speaking of getting people to the polls, I don't know if you guys have recently seen that Kanye West has a new ad, you guys. Have you guys checked this out? He actually, on Monday, Kanye released his first political ad for 2020 election, delivering a message about faith. Uh, take a look at some of Kanye's ads. Families. Families are the building blocks of society, of a nation. Kanye is currently actually urging voters to write his name in on the ballot. He's even been tweeting pictures of like, oh, my friends are sending me their pictures of them writing his name on the ballot. Um, and obviously, a lot of people are concerned that this will affect Joe Biden's win because... Of course! Obviously, a lot of folks are saying that any vote that is not for Joe Biden is for... Donald Trump. Garcelle, what are your thoughts? My thoughts are, you know, I love his message of knowing a vision, having a vision for the country, you know, everybody being united by faith. I love that. It's too critical of an election for us to be playing games. I agree with you there. Absolutely. We have a limited bandwidth right now to filter in what is the truth that we need in order to make the right, right. decision for permanent That's change. Tough. And even just that little bit you just said, Garcelle, I mean, Kanye didn't he didn't even submit the signatures on time no, to get time. himself on the ballot. Like, like just right. think about just that basic step. If you really are serious about running for president, you have to go through the actionary strides to show us that you're in the community, you're with the people, and that you've learned right. of all your stances. That you've got to set up but, a campaign that makes sense about what where you stand on things. It can't be tweets. What? It can't be a paid ad just because you can throw money at it. And so for me, right. I really I love the word distraction you just said because right now it's crucial that we weed out the distractions. You find out what are the things that you are most passionate to see change and you find out which of the actual people are making exactly. actual strides and stances that will make that change in the next five years. Exactly. Well, the thing is, is that he exactly. did make some ballots. 
on the California ballot, he is running for vice president with some guy I never heard of. And then there are some states that he did make the ballot. He didn't make the ballot like I in can. New York. I think what Kanye is doing is just making a distraction and he's using this as, as, as a publicity stunt. That's what I'm and saying. And that's it. Crazy, I tell you, crazy. Super concerning. But guys, on a lighter note, before we go to break, I just want to remind everyone to tune in tonight to see me on my other show. Yeah. I can see your voice on Fox. It's at 9 p.m. And also, guys, Garcelle, you're going to be presenting tonight on the Billboard Music Awards. Are you super excited? I am. And I am I'm presenting Christian Artist of the Year. And guess who's on the list? <laughs> Kanye. <laughs> and I just talked so badly about him. <laughs> He'll probably win. He'll probably no. win. <laughs> Garcelle, you you're just being that. honest. There's, these are two different things you're talking about. You're talking about a Christian yeah, artist, absolutely. and then you're talking about running for president. Girl, you can have two different opinions. Yeah. Two, yeah. My husband's we don't a Christian want to be artist. President. I would not tell him to run for president. And yeah. on that note, yeah. you can catch Garcelle and the 2020 Billboard Music Awards tonight at 8 on NBC.